Hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. I'm Ranger Rob and I do not know yet if it's a sparkling day in Central Oregon. However, it's a sparkling day here in my dining room because uh, what I wanted to show you <clears throat> before we go outside is uh, I'm constantly looking at new varieties of, uh, of seeds. So I uh, got quite a few right here. Uh, I use a couple of companies. I use Johnny's. This one's uh, Gurney's right here. And uh, so I'm having a hard time getting regular bok choy. So I finally found some, and so Gurney sent me some. But at the same time, I always try experimental types of uh, plants. So uh, I'm constantly getting um, stuff from Johnny's or I can't remember where I bought these other ones, um, Baker Creek. Uh, so I'm always looking for what grows best here, what grows good in hot weather. I'm starting to get stuff ready for fall crops. And uh, so uh, like uh, I wanted a better grow. Um, some reason the pea, peas that I ordered uh, or have don't seem to be taking very well. So I'm trying a different version of it. Um, but I'm trying uh, another bush, a bush bean other than a purple bean. Uh, these, these are giant radishes I want to try uh, on the, uh, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> on my towers uh, in the lower section. So I'm going to be planting these probably this weekend. And uh, there's an interesting uh, Swiss chard, <laughs> they call it peppermint. And uh, it has really cool colors to it, so I wanted to try that. We do a lot of Swiss chard here. Uh, I wanted to get a little bit more uh, head lettuce, which is butter crunch. And uh, also some of these things uh, that I grow all the time, I want to make sure I have a good supply in case there's some shortages. Uh, I am trying a, uh, a different kind of carrot. And once I thin out the carrots that are in the tower, and I'm also trying another, uh, this is pak choy. And so, uh, yeah, <laughs> always seeds coming in here. And we keep all of our seeds down there. And I got two goofy dolls here. And uh, let's go outside. All right, guys, so we're outside. You probably hear Sherry in the background. She's on her little lawnmower um, using one of those uh, zero turn lawnmowers. And she's over there doing her thing and she'll do different sections she might do it all at once so she might break it up and uh, so be it <clears throat> I did get a comment uh, from one of our viewers that they wanted to see more outside of the greenhouse stuff and I'm not quite sure <clears throat> uh, if it's the other things we grow or what the land looks like here like what does Central Oregon look like and uh, you want to see a disaster? <laughs> Look at my barn. I've got so much equipment. And uh, we are getting ready to stock up on fuel again. Uh, Sherry's been going through it pretty good this summer. And uh, <clears throat> I actually want to store up more fuel than I did last year. So it's uh, definitely warm out today. It's supposed to cool down by Monday. Uh, and this is our Saturday. And if you've seen this video now, yes, we do kick some of our videos ahead in case something comes up and I can't get a video. Uh, we really try to do daily vlog uh, vlogging here. So uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're, we're going to turn on the water for the corn because uh, it's just been dry. All right, so I got the water turned on. Corn's getting watered. Uh, once again, I want to talk about this NFT system right here. Now this is an NFT system, three inch pipe, um, hydroponic, and we put a trellis on there. The problem is this year, the, the it's been too hot. And so <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, you can see um, there's other reasons why I'm having some trouble with these plants because uh, I told you one is I'm having trouble with the roots being too big for this NFT. And then when the hot weather came, all my lower section of my plants 
really freaked out. And now, on the upper section, there's actually, this is green beans, and I actually got green beans doing pretty good here. Same thing happened here with sugar snap peas. Lower section, couldn't handle the heat. But now, you look up here, we got snap peas in the upper half. And these, by the way, are very good. And these two puppies here, our puppies love snap peas. And they're good puppies, so we'll give them a couple. All right, you guys want some snap peas? Can you guys sit? Look at those pretty girls. One for you. Good stuff. All right, they're happy. Now I just gotta get me one, if there's any left, because uh, it appears that my puppy's been getting most of them. But uh, yeah, good stuff. So uh, getting back to the subject of what we're gonna do with this, this, next spring I'm going to convert this all to uh, outdoor Dutch buckets because of the root system problems I'm having here and uh, I think I'm going to also put another shade cloth in case we get this hot weather like we did uh, this year next year and uh, oh it's kind of interesting is we got some of those uh, <clears throat> roasting peppers turning red now so it's kind of exciting, can't wait to do that. We're gonna uh, probably cut those up and freeze them or freeze dry them, which would be really good to add to a lot of uh, things we cook. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on with this NFT. So before we forget, remember we got an experiment going on with the ceramic eggs. Uh, yesterday, it didn't seem to affect them at all, but for those of you who might be new to the channel, we use ceramic eggs. <laughs> We had them on this side for a long, long time and the chickens kept laying eggs on this side of the uh, house. So eventually I moved them to the other side and now they lay all their eggs on the other side. So I wanna see if it really affects them. I wasn't really thinking about switching them at the time, but let's see if we got any eggs on this side. And the answer is no. Those are ceramic eggs you just saw. Now it could be, and I had to kind of think about this the other day, it could be this is the sunny side of the house, so it's probably warmer here, where it might be cooler on this side, because if we go in here, I bet you there's eggs. And uh, I would be right. And uh, uh, so yeah, so maybe the chickens moved over here because it's cooler. But I still like to see for a couple more days if the ceramic eggs influence them. All right, so I'm back in the greenhouse. We got a lot of tomatoes we got to pick today, a lot of green beans. Now, uh, I'm sure I've got to change this tank. It's like a 38 gallon tank. And these plants are drinking almost all of that every day. So it's amazing. The floating rafts. They don't go through as much water. And I also gotta fill the tank on the swamp cooler to help keep it cool back here. <clears throat> now, another thing I wanted to bring up is uh, maybe a month ago, we put ladybugs in here to help control the aphids. Um, not on the tomato plants, they went after my some of my other plants. And sure in heck, I got some uh, uh, <clears throat> some uh, spinach in here and uh, uh, ended up having a little trouble with aphids. I did spray it and of course I'd ask the question is what happened to the hundred of uh, hundred ladybugs I let loose in here uh, and why didn't they control my aphids? Don't know. So uh, uh, I gotta first of all look around and figure out if I still if they got out somehow or if they died whatever happened to them. But uh, <clears throat> I'm still fighting the aphids. So guys, uh, I don't know why I need to show more of my outside of my greenhouse, but uh, typically uh, Central Oregon, we're, we're in what's called a, a high desert area. So we have a lot of junipers, uh, occasionally a pine tree. Uh, yes, we have a lot of tractor equipment here. And uh, problem is, is this doesn't fit my tractor. Um, my father-in-law, which I bought from him, used to have a 
1950 something Jubilee and uh, a lot of that fit that so it's one of those things I'm not really sure what I want to do with this stuff and a lot of times uh, this isn't our whole property remember we have a deer fence here so that property outside this is where our drain field goes to and all that area so someday if we were to have sheep or something we have a extra property for that or a horse I doubt we ever have a horse but anyway uh, yeah and a lot of times on a property we have different places we'll store like scrap wood we're trying to get rid of this burning pile we moved it here but then we built the greenhouse and now we want to start a burning pile outside uh, the outside property and we have a burn barrel and we keep scrap wood over there and some over here that some of them are from Sherry's folks from way back and uh, occasionally if we have to cut off a branch or something we'll leave it here and some reason we have an outdoor fire when it's uh, permissible here um, we have something to build fires with but uh, yeah that's a little bit of the property but we're kind of known of having a little oasis here instead of just the gray, well not gray, but brown colored and the junipers here. We've, uh, Sherry's parents kind of turned this into a little oasis. So we got a lot of greenery and a pond and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's a little bit of a tour. We'll show you more of the property in other videos. Well guys, since we do have our own well, and you guys know our puppies love this pond, um, Cinder is the one that goes in, in the uh, pool, and the German Shepherd doesn't really like water that much. But, uh, so a lot of times I just throw the hose in here, let her come in and out of it, uh, keep fresh water doing it, but she's, they're always going in with dirty feet and stuff, so it's really hard to keep the water clear. So the best thing I can do is just let the water run, top off, cinder gets in it, keeps the water doing it, and we kind of flood the front area and stuff, but, uh, yeah. Okay, it's like your pool. You're a good girl. Hi, cinder. You got cinder? So, yeah, that's how I, uh, keep the water fresh and then it's not even though it looks dirty all the time it's because the dogs are in and out of it all day long all right guys uh sure you still mowing the lawn and stuff but we got so much to do today so i grabbed a few buckets and we're gonna get first of all get some green beans and uh i'll show you how many i get but uh we've uh got just tons of green beans so it's time to thin this out and uh put those in the buckets and then we'll go after the uh tomatoes all right guys so uh i did uh pick up a lot of green beans here there's still more but that's about four or five meals for me and sherry but i need to save a room to get some of these tomatoes off i've got tomatoes everywhere here so let's start pulling those well i uh, just got down with the tomatoes Uh, definitely got a lot of tomatoes. There's a couple I still left on the branches to uh, ripen one more day. So yeah, it's really relentless tomatoes right now, which is really nice. So that was quite a harvest we got. Uh, I haven't weighed them yet, but it's probably six or seven pounds of tomatoes, tons of green beans, lots of uh, dar, uh, cucumbers, which we already have tons. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, there's zucchini I haven't pulled yet and some other things. So it's been a great harvest today. Uh, as soon as Sherry's done with the lawns, we're gonna start the process of doing some tomato sauce. So it's one thing to get the harvest and actually grow all this stuff. Now, now we got now we gotta process all this stuff. Not to mention, this is a uh, stuff we let ripen on our counter here, and that doesn't even count what we got in the refrigerator. So we got tons of tomatoes. So anyway, guys, we're gonna wrap this up here. Super hot today. I wanna thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. I'll try to get a little bit of tomato sauce process on the next video. 
uh, just so much going on. So guys, uh, thank you for watching. Really share our videos. We really appreciate it. Want to welcome all the new subscribers. And guys, have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.